Saints and welcome to this week's NDP Live video announcements. I'm Bennett Curran. And I'm Juju Montez. We hope all of you are having an excellent week. Bennett, what's making the news this week? It's great to see you, Juju. Let's start with last weekend's Saints 5K Fun Run. We had many participants who joined us virtually and here on campus. In total, NDP was able to raise $7,125 for Amplify, Not My Kid, and it all went to an important cause, teen mental health. We want to give a special thank you to Mrs. Heather Wording, Mrs. Patty Rivera, and Coach Shelly Dingus for organizing this successful event. Oh. And we can't forget our own Noah Letterer, who spent the whole morning in the Samson costume. We had a blast watching all your dance moves. Seniors, if you haven't heard by now, we're having a senior prom event. It's called An Evening Under the Lights, and it's happening Saturday, April 24th from 6 to 9 at Scottsdale Stadium, the Fieldhouse. Tickets are $85 per person, and one guest per senior is allowed. Just remember that it is formal attire and masks are required. To reserve your spot, go to ndpsaints.org forward slash senior prom. I'm super excited for this juju and we hope all of our seniors are too. Finding the perfect outfit can be exciting but stressful to when it comes to cost. For guys, it's a decision whether to rent or buy a tux or should you just wear a suit? Check out this cool deal NDP has worked out with Nick's menswear at Fashion Square. It's that time of the year again, prom season. And to be honest, finding that perfect look for that special night can turn into a scene. Just like this one from High School Musical. Do I want classic or vintage or flat? With a mirror, I think this tux is too baggy, too tight, it makes me look weird. Zac Efron definitely has a point. A lot of tuxes do make you feel weird. They're usually too baggy or too tight. And let's face it, they're too expensive to buy to make your own alterations. That's for sure, Andy. Because of their price, most of us rent tuxes, which can debt your bank account a few hundred bucks. And to add to it, tuxes aren't always the in fashion statement. Suits have made a formal comeback. Major celebrities like Daniel Craig, John Krasinski, and Channing Tatum have all sported the classic fitted suit down the red carpet. And that's exactly why Jagger and I are here at Nick's Menswear at Fashion Square. We're both going to find the perfect suit to wear at prom. Another reason why a suit is a better choice to go with is because it offers versatility. You can wear it for more than just one occasion. You can use it for graduation or that next big job or internship interview you land in college. The price makes complete sense too. At Nick's Menswear, you can buy an entire suit for $220. That includes a jacket, pants, vest, tie, shirt, and matching pocket square, all for the same price as renting something from another store. And get this, for every suit an NDP student buys, Nick's Menswear will donate $10 back to Notre Dame. So you're helping our school as well. So let's get back to those fitting rooms and see what they got. Well, Jagger, I think I found the one. I agree. This will definitely be the one I'm taking to prom. NDP guys, you gotta come check this place out. For more information, go to their website at nicksmenswear.com. We'll see you at prom, Saints. From movies to the stage, NDP is excited to announce our spring musical, Little Women. Show dates are April 9th, 10th, 16th, and 17th. The best part of this exciting performance is that it will take place in the brand new St. Catherine of Bologna Performing Arts Center. I can't wait! Break a leg, Bennett! It's hard to believe that we're almost to the month of April, and that means the school year is quickly coming to an end. But for those of you looking to get ahead in your classes, taking summer classes here at NDP is an excellent choice. Summer registration is already open. To sign up, make sure to visit ndpsaints.org forward slash the dash scoop or see your counselor. Now for your athletic highlights. Girls soccer lost in the AIA 4A state semifinals to eventual state champion number three South Point 3-0 last week. The Saints reached the state semifinals for the second consecutive season 
and finished the season with a 13-1 record. Junior John Rubo had the top finish of the meet as he finished fourth in the 100 meters at the Brophy Invitational Friday in 11.05. Overall, seven Saints competed in the season opening meet for the track and field program. Varsity Baseball defeated Deer Valley on Friday to improve to 3-0 on the season. Vince Matty hit a walk-off grand slam to enter the game. The girls' tennis team posted an 8-1 win over Prescott on Thursday in their season opener. NDP swept the singles matches with Brooke Baylitz, Kira Lehman, Gabby Reavy, and Jacqueline Bliss posting wins on the court. Regan Broderick and Grace O'Brien had a win in doubles. The boys' tennis team opened their season with a 7-2 win over Prescott. It's now time for our favorite segment of the week, Saints of the Week. And this week we want to recognize a group of NDP students who play in a YMCA basketball league. They're called the Dirty Dogs and what's exciting is that they became valley-wide champions last weekend. Noah Letterer sat down with the team to find out more. So about seven years ago we started a YMCA basketball team, originally the Double Doubles, with uh, Sam, Kyle, and myself. And when that team disbanded, we became the Dirty Dogs and now are valley-wide YMCA champions. The expectations coming in the season were just, you know, we just want to win a couple games, have some fun, because, you know, we're not very good. But we ended up winning the whole thing, so we were very surprised and happy with that outcome because up until the, um, the playoffs this year, we had only won four games as a team, the whole existence of the Dirty Dogs. And in the past two weeks, we have won five games, so we're very happy with how the season turned out. After a rough regular season, we came into the postseason about, I think, one in five is what it was. And um, our expectations weren't too high. We were hoping to win like at least one game, maybe, maybe two. Um, but yeah, then the postseason got rolling and we just kept winning and um, we ended up Valleywide champs. So. The last year, the very last year, we only won one game in the, the, whole, the, whole, the whole regular season. So going in the playoffs, we weren't too confident because we thought we were going to play in the best team. But we just kept beating the teams, beating the teams, and then we got to the West Valley Championship where we have, were down eight at one point with about, I think, five minutes to go, something like that, and we came back and ended up winning the game by two. And um, we thought that was it, honestly, and we got a flyer saying we're playing next Saturday for the Valley Wide Championship. We're like, oh, this is going to be a rough game. And uh, we ended up playing that game, and uh, we were down, I think, 10 of that game uh, at halftime and uh, ended up coming back and winning the whole thing. But um, honestly, expected uh, nothing else. Best team in the YMCA, no doubt. So I'm, I'm just happy with the outcome. Unfortunately for us, there's no future in the Dirty Dogs because we're all seniors and we won't be able to continue on next year. But hopefully we can pass the torch on to a future team and maybe some younger students. Congratulations, boys. You are this week's Saints of the Week. For the biggest, that's a comma and a comma and a comma, gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket. Get it, get it, get it, get it. We want to thank Black Rock Coffee at Thompson Peak and Bell for being NDP Live's video announcements official sponsor. Before we go, we want to send all our prayers to all of those who are on Kairos this week. This is the first Cairo since COVID started, so NDP is excited to bring back a tradition that is so close to all of us. Well, that's all the news we have for you this week, Saints. We'll see you next week.